Further along the line now, an 060 pannier tank, 1252, is five and three quarter miles from Plimstock and heading for Yelmpton, adjacent to the meadows and the upper non-tidal reaches of the River Yelm. The largest engineering feature on this line is this bridge carrying it some 60 feet above the river. But it's all gone now. The line is dead, as Tony Kingdom explains. Uh, when you take a train away, you take away the warmth, particularly when we're talking about steam trains, of course, the warmth of having a public transport vehicle passing through the countryside, and I mean the countryside, not the roads, uh, the lights flickering by, people looking out of their window, there's a friend passing, and, it can, and it's very visible, particularly at night, and um, this is sadly all lost now, except for very few fortunate places. The final cutting at Bold Venture is past, and the train runs into its last embankment, giving it the right height for the approach to the station. Yumpton Station was originally built as a through station for the planned route to Modbury. The station, with its limestone face building, is situated to the right of the track as the train enters the terminus. During the Second World War, Yampton Station Yard was used as a searchlight battery, and whilst the Blitz was raging on Plymouth Centre, many people used to come out from the city by train and bus to seek refuge from the bombings in the village. It was not unusual to find lines of buses parked in the goods yard. Yampton was always a busy station, with passengers, goods and milk parcels lining the platforms. Sometimes there were even rabbits. One passenger, Mr Beard, remembers old Bill who used to come up from Plymouth to Yampton by train to pick watercress for the hotels. And with his clay pipe and a couple of pints inside him, he would return to Plymouth with loaded bags of cress strapped to his back. <laughs>